Right now at 10, firefighters respond to a house fire in Stoddard, but they say the flames were not the only thing that they battled. And a slight drop in Wisconsin's budget forecast. The projected surplus will be smaller than expected. Plus, a new location for Wafer. The food pantry has officially moved out of an industrial area and into a lacrosse neighborhood. You're watching WKDT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. No one was injured after multiple fire departments responded to a fire on Mohawk Valley Road today. News 8 Now's Dua Israr spoke to the chief of the Stoddard Fire Department, who says the flames weren't the only concern for firefighters. It was a uh, fire in the crawl space of the trailer. Fairly difficult thing to get to. Large fires usually require a large group of firefighters to get the job done. They're all great people. They all help us. It's all volunteer fire departments. On days like this, the size of the flames don't matter. Stoddard Virgin Fire Department was uh, uh, dispatched for uh, smoke showing on a trailer house. The response to this fire was fairly quick by multiple agencies, but an additional concern was making sure the ones responding didn't have an emergency of their own. First fire for, for us on these fairly, it's fairly warm summer day. Heat from the flames and heat from the sun can make a dangerous combination. Cardiac issues with firefighters is getting to be, you know, a little bit more of a, a, a known risk. Add in the heavy gear. This is like wearing your snowsuit in the uh, summertime. And the chances of overheating are high. That's why multiple agencies take turns fighting the flames. We, we do like a, uh, a 30 minute cycle. It may even be less than that. After 30 minutes, each firefighter has their vital signs checked. Take on water, drink water. Um, we monitor them. Um, it depends on the situation. If it's summertime, we may have a fan there for them, um, cooling towels. Allowing these firefighters to cool down even in the hottest weather. Reporting in Stoddard, the Westrar, News 8 Now. And the cause of that fire is still under investigation. In the meantime, the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources says northern Wisconsin is in critical fire danger. A fire weather watch in effect, and the DNR is asking residents across the northern counties not to burn. Now, the very high-risk counties are above our viewing area, but the DNR does say Chippewa, Barron, and Russ counties are at high risk risk stage. The DNR has already responded to 281 wildfires this year and most were related to debris burning. DNR has several fire safety tips for those in at risk counties. We'll be posting a link with more info on our website. So the northern counties kind of dealing with that and it seems bill that those counties are a lot more drier than maybe some in the southern are seeing. Yeah, they escaped a lot of the rain yesterday that the rest of us saw plenty of. We saw over six tenths here in the cross over an inch in some of our southern and western communities. In fact, around two inches in Prairie du Chien. Then last night, it was chilly. Check out these morning lows, low to mid 30s in our traditional colder spots like Sparta, Fort McCoy, Black River Falls, Volk Field. Those are the airfields, so probably a few degrees warmer in the actual towns. Uh, 44 was the low in La Crosse, 39 in Eau Claire, and 43 in Viroqua. Nice rebound, though, thanks to a mix of sun and clouds today. Highs range from the upper 60s to mid 70s, including 75 in Eau Claire and 74 in La Crosse made for a pleasant start to the new work uh, week, that is. So not as chilly tonight, warmer for tomorrow. We could be around 80 degrees in many spots. Best rain chance this week looks to be Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. Now just some high and mid-level clouds scattered about right now. These are debris clouds from some very light rain showers over southern Iowa. Temperatures generally in the uh, upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Now down to 48 in Black River Falls, 54 in Sparta, but still 61 in Eau Claire, 60 in La Crosse, and 60 in Viroqua. So not as chilly as last night. Lows in the uh, mid 40s to lower 50s for most, including 52 in La Crosse. School cast for tomorrow. Uh, sunshine, 54 at 7 a.m., already 74 by lunchtime. And look at that afternoon high around 80 degrees. So that'll feel pretty nice. Now we do have uh, a little bit of a roller coaster ride uh, in store this week, and I'll discuss those rain chances as well coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Bill, thanks very much. Well, Prairie du Chien officials have set a date for a community cleanup for people affected by the Mississippi River flooding. The cleanup will happen on Wednesday starting around 9.30 a.m. PDC high school students and staff, volunteers, and city and county employees will be on hand to help those who have called 211 for help. If you need help cleaning up and want to get on the list, call 211 so officials can get you on a list. 
A Wisconsin judge is refusing to break up a lawsuit filed against 10 fake electors for former President Donald Trump. The case is also filed against two of Trump's attorneys. The judge ruled the case can proceed in Dane County where it was filed, and the case doesn't need to be broken up to be heard in the counties where the defendants live. The lawsuit seeks $2.4 million from the fake electors, alleging they were part of a conspiracy by Trump and his allies to overturn the 2020 election results. A third congressional, congressional district GOP chairman, Bill Fian, is one of those 10 electors. Fian said last year their intent was to have Trump electoral votes ready in case a court invalidated Biden's win. One of Wisconsin's largest dairy farms is settling a lawsuit with state environmental regulators. Kennard Farms runs 16 industrial farms with 8,000 cows just east of Green Bay. They sued the Wisconsin DNR last year, saying the organization imposed wastewater permits that were too harsh on them. But the company has struggled to stop contaminants getting into private wells in the past. So under the settlement, Kindred Farms agrees to stop spreading liquid manure within four years. If they don't, the DNR can impose groundwater monitoring requirements on them. Wisconsin's budget forecast has dipped a bit, but still projects to be nearly $7 billion surplus by the end of June this year. The nonpartisan Legislative Fiscal Bureau released the latest changes today, saying the state will collect 1% less than the last projection it made four months ago. The Republican co-chairs of the state's Joint Finance Committee say those re-estimates reflect the country's uncertain economy. The surplus remains the highest the state has ever seen, and both parties agree on introducing some kind of tax cut, but the two proposals remain very, very different. Governor Tony Evers is focusing on Internet access with the state's Public Service Commission. The governor today attended a listening session at the public library with the PSC's chairperson. Now, the PSC is developing the state's five-year plan to get high-speed Internet to more rural and underserved places and make Internet more affordable. The governor has made moves to invest in broadband access since 2019, and his office says more than 390,000 homes and businesses have gotten access to Internet or have improved their Internet connection. From parents to small businesses to farmers and healthcare professionals, it's clear that broadband access impacts everyone and the, it's, it's essential for economic development, rural prosperity, community health. The governor has proposed an investment of $750 million for the broadband expansion grant program in his biennial budget. Republican lawmakers have already made changes to that section of the governor's budget. The PSC's listening tour will run through June 8th, and there are two virtual listening sessions. We've got more details on how to attend on our website. It is a big step forward for Minnesota State College Southeast. The college's Associate of Science and Nursing program has received accreditation from the Accreditation Commission for Education and Nursing. So that means its nursing program has met the standards for educational quality for nursing education. At a celebration ceremony today, the college president says this achievement sets up their graduates for even more professional success. Our RNs are now able to go out and be employed by any healthcare employer. Some only hire ACEN accredited from ACEN accredited programs. So we're very excited for what this means for our students. The Associate of Science in Nursing degree takes five semesters to complete. A La Crosse Area Food Pantry is opening its doors at a new location. Wafer now open on the city's north side, and leaders say it's helping them better fulfill their mission. And later, your energy bill might climb higher soon. Excel's announcement is just ahead. Selling your car yourself can take weeks. Selling to an online reseller takes days. Selling your car to Dahl Auto takes 30 minutes. Bring your title and keys and leave with a check. Doll Auto. Simple. The results are in for the 10th annual Best of Lacrosse County. Head to bestoflacrossecounty.com to see the winners in every category. Thank you to everyone who participated and congratulations to all the winners. Here's one of the many businesses that won this year. You just had to wait. Now we're going to miss our vacation. Mm -hmm. On the bright side, I can crown that tooth and have you on your way in the same day. See for yourself. Call or visit allendental.net. Our phones keep us constantly connected. Can you switch to airplane mode? But what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? Introducing what Us Mode, a mode that makes our phones less distracting. 
so we can focus on quality time. So the notifications we get are the ones that matter. So we're never distracted from what's most important. Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online to set up us mode for free, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Experienced sales consultants are good listeners who sell people what they need, not what's on sale. They're easy to work with and value a trusting relationship. We know team members with these life skills earn lifelong customers. Doll Auto, simple. After nearly two years of construction, the Wafer Food Pantry is open to customers on La Crosse's north side. It's replacing its old location on Causeway Boulevard. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen explains how this helps Wafer further its mission to support the community. A day is made up of minutes. Oh, God, that's what I've been doing for about seven years. And every one of those minutes matters. It's by far the best part of my week. At La Crosse's Wafer Food Pantry, volunteers like Carol Schrader make the most of that time they have. It's met all of my needs and then some. At its new location, they hope to meet everyone's needs in more ways than one. Just because someone is in need of help, food help, doesn't mean that the services that are provided should be less than what we would experience. Volunteers stock shelves. They also guide customers through the pantry letting them inside for the first time since the pandemic began. It's just exciting to get to see how this system really works instead of what we were used to. Executive Director Aaron Waldhart says this is a win for volunteers. It's also a win for the people they serve. A lot of times people that come here, we are their only source of interaction for it in a day. Once those relationships develop, there's discussions about other things than just food. If we're able to offer other resources or referrals or assistance in some way that we're able to lift the whole person up and not just solely focus on the food. Helping our community when it matters most. Now this new location also pulls Wafer out of the floodplain and into the middle of La Crosse's north side. Leaders say this change allows Wafer staff to focus less on sandbagging on rainy days and more on the people that they serve. After the break, egg prices are on their way down. And is the lacrosse dining scene trendy enough to keep up with the rest of the country? A consulting firm says no. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. This was the view early this morning. Some thick river valley fog in many spots, and it took it until about 8.30 or 9 o'clock before it mixed out, made for a beautiful Monday. Now, will we see that fog overnight tonight? I'll have the answer with my eight-day forecast up next. Who that is? Oh, is that Chewbacca? No. Yeah, is that Chewbacca? Yeah, Chewbacca. Who says jack o' lanterns? <laughs> Wait, was that? Hold on. Was Who that says jack o' lanterns are only Chewbacca? for and ghosts? <laughs> I can't do Chewbacca. We're going to take a break right now. One more time. <laughs> Come on, one more time. Just for all of us. <laughs> mm. All right, we're taking a break. We'll have today's top health stories when we come back. When Derek Van Orden wanted your vote, he signed the U.S. Term Limits Pledge. But now, Congressman Van Orden is breaking his U.S. Term Limits Pledge. Term Limits Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. It's the Bobby Bones Show. Let's go. We're going to make you laugh. And the biggest stars in country music, they all come by here. Really? Yeah. Shut up. Join me, Bobby Bones, every weekday morning starting at 6 on Kix 106.3. The GMC Sierra with hands-free driving. Yeah, it rocks. Step up to GMC with 0.9% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on Sierra Light Duty models. Visit your best choice GMC dealer today. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, Many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. 
If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Hi, it's Elvis Duran. Thanks for listening. We are just the family sitting around the table. Best answer ever! We're always fun. Oh. Oh my God. Hi, it's Elvis Duran from the Mixed Morning Show. Wake up with us every morning on Mix 96. Diapers in politicians must be changed often, and for the same reason. And already something stinks about Derek Van Orden. Now politician Van Orden is breaking his U.S. term limits pledge. Term limits action is responsible for the content of this advertising. Come explore and plan your next home improvement project at the Board's Door Home Improvement's historic eight-building showroom, 524 Copeland Avenue, La Crosse. Three Wisconsin energy utilities are asking the state's Public Service Commission to increase rates next year. Excel Energy, Alliant Energy, and Madison Gas and Electric are all saying upfront costs for renewable energy projects are forcing them to increase customer rates. Now, Excel Energy is requesting a 4.8% increase in electric rates and 5.3% for gas. According to a company release, Excel says those increases would equal about $9.50 more a month for electric and $4.50 more for gas. While those prices rise, some are coming down. Wholesale prices for Midwest large eggs last week were at 94 cents a dozen. That's down from 546 a dozen six months ago, according to an independent price reporting agency. The price swing was due to avian flu wiping out hens and reducing supply, and farmers were dealing with higher costs for feed and fuel. Now, supply is getting back to normal. The City of La Crosse's large item pickup service starts today. Couches, mattresses, and other large furniture items will be picked up on your regularly scheduled trash collection day. Put the large items near your collection point, but do not block your trash bins. Items weighing more than 300 pounds will not be collected. If items are left out beyond the collection day, the property owner has to remove them. Electronics, appliances, tires, and hazardous materials cannot be collected. And a Chicago-based consulting firm has no love for lacrosse when it comes to trendy cuisine. The firm Data Essential analyzed restaurant menus from across the country to measure the biggest variety of foods. It found in lacrosse taking in 13 cuisines allows you to experience 90% of the market. It was only slightly better than Wausau, where 11 cuisines represent 90%. Now compare that to somewhere like Miami, where 29 different cuisines let you experience 90% of the market. So. Basically what Data Essential is saying here is that it doesn't take much to get a full taste of the food options in places like La Crosse and Wausau. <laughs> and I don't know. I mean, I like our meat and potatoes. I was going to say, I mean, I've lived here <laughs> since 2019. Bill has lived here much longer. Uh, 1998. Does 13 Cuisine sound about fair for, yeah, I mean, for what La Crosse offers? There's some great spots here, but, but I will say that, you know, you travel elsewhere and there's definitely a little bit more options. A little more variety, yeah. yeah. But the Midwest is just good at doing you know, certain things really, really well. That's right. So That's if, you, right. if you nail something and the Midwesterners love it, just keep it coming. That's me. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I think you're on to something there. All right. So. Thank hey, you. do you remember earlier in one of the evening newscasts I said uh, pretty sunset alert? Yes. Because of some high and mid-level clouds? Yeah. Well, this is what I was talking about. Let's take a look at the time lapse uh, from earlier this evening. Again, there's those mid and high level clouds in play. So as that sun came down and you get those uh, beautiful colors starting to appear there and check this out when we had kind of some stripes going on. And uh, again, a lot of you shared some beautiful scenes from your neck of the woods on my Facebook page. So please feel free to do that. Go check out what everybody has posted there as well. I also uh, posted a beautiful shot inside our studio of City Cam 8 that you'll want to check out as well. But uh, boy, Mother Nature came through in a big way earlier this evening with those high and mid-level clouds around. If they're ever around when the sun is low in the sky, whether it's sunrise or sunset time, you'll get some really, really nice colors 
in the uh, either eastern or western sky, depending on morning or night, of course. All right, Allergy Associates uh, telling me that expect oak pollen to remain on the high side uh, for about another week, and that's the trend for t tomorrow and Wednesday, and tree pollen in general remaining on the high side as well. So uh, if you suffer from tree pollen, maybe uh, put some extra Kleenex in the pocket over the next couple of days. Skies are clear to partly cloudy across the region, 74 the official high. Two degrees above average. Again, kind of a cool start though. 44, we should be around 50. 91 and 30, the records for today. 60 degrees out at the airport, 62 downtown. Uh, uh, Mississippi continues to drop 9.87 feet, and it is now below flood stage in all locations. Even Prairie to Sheena McGregor finally fell back below flood stage early this morning. 61 degrees for you folks in Eau Claire. The Chippewa River is falling as well. So temperatures this evening generally in the 50s to around 60 degrees. Our traditional colder spots, uh, upper 40s in Black River Falls, 54 in Sparta, 59 in Winona, 60 in Barroqua. And winds are fairly light from the west generally at around 3 to 8 miles per hour. Now not as cold tonight. Overnight lows will drop into the uh, generally upper 40s to lower 50s, right around 52 in the cross. So about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than what we saw last night and early this morning. So some good news there. Even our traditional cooler spots, probably low to mid 40s for the coldest readings. And then uh, lower 50s for Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. So just some debris clouds from some activity well to our south. Now this front up to the north is going to try to back its way in from the north and east tomorrow. So Sky Tracker will kind of show uh, some of those clouds and the uh, change in wind direction. Maybe finding enough moisture to squeeze out an isolated shower in our eastern counties late tomorrow into tomorrow evening, but most of us will stay dry and that's going to be the trend into Wednesday before a cold front arrives heading into Thursday with our best chance for some rain uh, this week. So for tonight, partly cloudy, not nearly as chilly as last night. In fact, seasonable temperatures in the 40s to lower 50s. Tomorrow, sunny to partly cloudy and warmer. Highs around 80 degrees. Again, that very small chance for a late day shower, primarily east. A little cooler Wednesday, 70, kind of breezy with that front coming through on Thursday. Chance of showers and a few thunderstorms, especially Thursday afternoon and evening. Breezy with some light showers on Friday and cooler. But right now, the weekend, fingers crossed, is looking pretty nice with highs in the lower to middle 70s because uh, you and I are going to be playing some tennis yeah, on Saturday. Absolutely. So stay tuned for more on that through the week. All right. That's, that's a heck of a tease right there. <laughs> Bill, thanks very much. Okay. When we come back in sports, some big time conference action on the diamond and a big doubleheader in Bangor softball and baseball on the schedule for the cards. Rob is up next. Where does electricity come from? It comes from here. And here. And here. At Excel Energy, we work to keep that energy reliable and safe by constantly monitoring and protecting the grid. Because while it's important where electricity comes from, we're just as focused on getting it where it's going safely. This is how the future is made. Love your home but hate your bathroom? Convert the ugly old tub to a safe, convenient walk-in shower or a new soaker tub if that's your style. Remove your old flooring, toilet, vanity, and replace it with one of the wonderful options found in our showroom. Designers to plan it, carpenters, electricians, and plumber to complete it. The Board Store Home Improvements. Improving your home, improving your life. Bathrooms, kitchen, flooring, and more. Call or visit our showroom at 524 Copeland Avenue in La Crosse.
To all you so-called drive through contenders out there, Taco John's is coming for the breakfast belt. With the boldest, juiciest, baconiest, potato olayiest breakfast burritos ever, we're not pulling any punches. The new breakfast champ is here. Try a bigger, bolder breakfast at Taco John's. He's called safe at home, just beats the tag. Logan jumps in front, two to one, and the Rangers adding some insurance later in the fifth. Lucas Eilertsen belts one back up the box. That's a base hit. Kobe Zafrin comes in to score on the RBI single. Rangers get a big win at home over their rivals, three to one. To the softball field we go. MVC showdown in lacrosse. Spartans in town taking on Central. Riverhawks going to work in the second. This ball scorched to second. That'll get the job done as Santana Carranza comes to soar. Central gets on the board later in the inning. Great piece of hitting here. This is going to drop in for a base hit. Grace Blagan scores to make it 2 0 Riverhawks. Central would load the bases, but the Spartans get out of trouble. Peyton Eilers snags this one. Sparta out of a jam, but the Riverhawks keeping the Spartans off the scoreboard. Carmen Peterson dealing this afternoon. Riverhawks hang on for the win 5 3. Over to Bangor, the Cardinals with a chance to clinch the Scenic Bluffs title as take on Brookwood. First inning, two runners on. Tyler Meyer decides to get the scoring started. An RBI single will bring in Samuel Kropp as Bangor takes the lead here. Next batter, Bryce Anderson is going to add another. He pops one up to deep center field. That's plenty deep enough to score Bryce Peterson. Cardinals go up 2-0. Next inning, a man on for Peterson, and he lines one out to center field. Gets over the head of the defense. All the way to the fence, a run scores. Bangor's rolling. They would go on to win it 11 to 1. They're 16 and 1 on the year. And they would take their conference trophy, go cheer on the softball team. But with Cashton losing, Brookwood had a chance to clinch a share of the Scenic Bluffs title. Bangor trailing by a couple, but with the runner on, Gabby Schroeder pops one up. That's in no man's land. Drops in for a single. A run scores. Cardinal trails by just two. Brookwood trying to answer. Kimber Kaiser at the dish. She delivers with a single up the middle. Deanna Wallace scores. Falcons back up three. But here come the Cardinals. The game for Jade Robinson. She crushes this one to center. Skips to the wall. Cardinals are now in front. Falcons still in it. Bases loaded for Maggie Muhlenkamp. She pops one out to center. A run comes in. We're going to extra innings here. We're now in the ninth. But Nora Tucker is going to put this one to bed. A single down the third base line. Means Anna Frank will score. Cardinals walk it off 8-7. What a game. We have a lot of area athletes who go on to play sports at the collegiate level, but it's not too often we have an athlete go out of the country for it. Earlier today, Aquinas senior Barcha Nizdalova signed her national letter of intent to play basketball at Capilano University in Vancouver, Canada. Nizdalova is an exchange student from the Czech Republic. She enrolled at Aquinas in 2021. Now she'll be taking her talents to British Columbia to play at the next level. So a big congrats to Barcha. Good news, bad news. I'm a glass half full guy. Okay. Brewers got annihilated <laughs> tonight. 18 to 1 was that's why I didn't put it in the highlights. Yeah, thank you. But it's just one game. <laughs> Whether you lose 2 to 1, 18 to 1, 27 to 1, just one game. Yeah, but uh, you know when the Cardinals have been as terrible as they've been the first game against the Brewers, they look <laughs> like they could win the World Series. Yeah, right. It's uh, what a great thing about the NL Central. We Love make it. each other look real good and real bad. Yep. Bounce back tomorrow. Time. Bounce back tomorrow. <laughs> Rob, thanks very much. I wish I had your optimism. <laughs> we will be right back after this.
It's the all-time best-selling SUV in America. Be adventure ready with Ford Explorer. Now, get a new 2023 Ford Explorer XLT with 0% financing for 36 months, plus 2,000 low APR cash, only at your local Northland Ford dealers. Where there's a flooded basement, there's a solution. Where there are wet spots or musty smells, there's an answer. Where wood damage or dry rot is stealing home value, there's an expert. American Waterworks. For wet basements, wood damage, and effects of dry rot, American Waterworks professional crack repair, waterproofing, sump pumps, and vapor barriers provide long-lasting solutions to tough problems. Wherever moisture problems surface, there's an answer. American Waterworks. Schedule your free inspection and estimate today. Hang on tight, Wisconsin, because fun just got a lot faster. It's Fast Play from the Wisconsin Lottery, an all-new style of lotto games that combine instant wins with the progressive jackpot. Playing is easy at any lottery retailer. Just print, play, and know if you're a winner instantly. The progressive jackpot starts at $10,000 and grows with each ticket sold. The share of the jackpot increases with the price of the ticket. Fast Play is available now only at Wisconsin Lottery Retailers. Menards carries the tools you need to complete your projects. Now all 11% off. Known for innovative designs and affordable prices. Works provides power and ease to get the job done right. Pick up the Works 20-volt brad nailer for $149.96 after rebate. Complete jobs around the house with a Works 20-volt half-inch drill and driver. It's a must-have for every household. Get it today for just $49.99 after 11% rebate. Now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. With a tankless system, you can have unlimited hot water whenever and for however long you need it. Upgrade to a tankless today and never be left without hot water again. Rely on Maxwell White, plumbing done right. Today, the Cooley Region community honors the men and women who continue to serve their local communities. Police officers and family members gathered at Halfway Creek Park in Holman today for presentations and to also remember the four Wisconsin officers who have died in the line of duty this year. In the wake of Officer Katie Lysing's death during a traffic stop just last week, La Crosse County Sheriff John Siegel says the risk officers take is never knowing what lies ahead on the job. You know, our deputies know that every day they put their badge on and every day they go out to serve our community, and we don't know what that looks like day to day. Sheriff Siegel says the recent events have slowed recruitment efforts, but the Sheriff's Office will continue to try and bring in the best recruits they can. We'll be right back. I won't write your will. I don't write contracts. I won't handle your divorce. I do know a few things about personal injury law. All I do is help injured people get the compensation they deserve. Goodbye, Goff and Rody. That's how we get results. This time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for Auto Show, where you can experience new Ford SUVs firsthand. Then head to your Northland Ford dealers for exclusive offers like 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. It's Showtime. Hurry in today. Now for a limited time only, get 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburgers cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Cold. Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. <laughs> the results are in for the 10th annual Best of Lacrosse County. Head to bestoflacrossecounty.com to see the winners in every category. Thank you to everyone who participated and congratulations to all the winners. Here's one of the many businesses that won this year. You just had to wait. Now we're going to miss our vacation. Mm. Now on the bright side, I can crown that tooth and have you on your way in the same day. See for yourself. Call or visit allendental.net. The GMC Sierra with hands-free driving. Yeah, it rocks. Step up to GMC with 0.9% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on Sierra light duty models. 
Visit your best choice GMC dealer today. When the insurance company sees Bygoff and Rody on the other side, they know they're in for a fight. It's your life, but it's our fight. And they know that if they're not being fair with us, they will find themselves in court, and that's how Bygoff and Rody gets results for its clients. Not as chilly tonight, 40s to lower 50s, and look at how quickly we warm up tomorrow morning. Already 70 degrees by uh, mid to late morning. 80 degrees tomorrow, very small chance for a late day shower to the east. A little cooler Wednesday, highs around 70. All right, thanks a lot, Bill, and thanks for joining us tonight at 10. We'll see you tomorrow.